You know how in Star Wars, the Jedi and the Sith use lightsabers to fight each other? Well, what if I told you that there are real lightsabers in the universe, and they're not just used for duels, but for slicing stars in half? These are called plasma blades, and they're powered by the most magnetic objects in the cosmos, magnetars. Are you intrigued? Good, because this is just the beginning. In this video, we'll tell you how these plasma blades work and what they mean for the fate of the universe. Now let's get started. You may be wondering what plasma blades are, where they come from and how they can slice stars in half. Well, according to some smart guys from New York University, plasma blades are the superheroes of the universe, wielding an incredible power that comes from the magnetic forces of the cosmos. Plasma is a state of matter where atoms rebel and lose their electrons, creating a chaotic and charged party of particles. Magnetic fields are the invisible masters controlling and shaping the movement of these electrified particles. But plasma blades are not something you can find in your kitchen or garage. They're only produced by some of the most extreme objects in the universe, magnetars. Magnetars are a type of neutron star, which is a city-sized ball of ultra-dense neutrons that forms when a massive star dies and collapses under its own gravity. Magnetars have the most powerful magnetic fields in the known universe, billions of times stronger than anything on Earth. When these giant stars die, it's like the universe decided to play a game of cosmic Jenga. The core collapses into a magnetar, which is the star's final act of defiance. But here's the funny part. This newborn magnetar is like a rock star of the universe, surrounded by its fans of hydrogen and helium layers. It's a party, but not a boring one. This magnetar has some serious gravitational pull, attracting the last breaths of its parent star's atmosphere. Meanwhile, the radiation and magnetic fields are having a disco battle with plasma. It's a mess in the club. In their previous research, astronomers discovered a fascinating twist. Imagine this, inside the magnetar chaos, a jet forms along its spin axis, like a pole dancer breaking through the starry crowd. But here's where it gets crazy. This jet has a flair for drama and decides to put on a fireworks show. It produces a gamma ray burst, or GRB, which is like the universe's way of saying, surprise, look at me. These GRBs are so bright, they can be seen from billions of light years away, and they last only for a few seconds or minutes. Talk about a short but spectacular performance. Now here's where things get even more crazy. It turns out the magnetar's magnetic fields are not only good at making vertical streams, they also have a skill for making horizontal flashes. A new study found that these magnetic masters can create bright bursts of radiation along the magnetar's equator. Thanks to the star's fast spinning, they form a cosmic blade that cuts through the star faster than you can say, supernova. This blade carries more energy than a dozen sci-fi explosions combined. It's like the universe's own lightsaber, but with some seriously electrifying moves. This relativistic blade can perfectly bisect the star, slicing it in half on its way out. The blade then travels for a long distance, several times longer than the star itself before it runs out of energy, possibly explaining some of the longer-lasting GRBs. The star's fate is doomed. As the blade travels, it picks up more and more stuff that joins the blade in its journey. The blade also makes the star unstable, leading to its final destruction. Now, you may be wondering, how do we know this? Well, we don't. Not for sure. The study's not been checked or repeated by other experts. There have been fake claims of superconductors that work at room temperature before, so we should not believe this blindly. But if this theory is true, it would be one of the most awesome discoveries in physics ever. It would mean that there are stars out there that are literally being cut in half by plasma blades powered by magnetars. It would also mean that some GRBs are actually caused by these blades slicing through space and time. How cool is that? Imagine seeing a star being cut in half by a plasma blade in real time. That would be like watching Star Wars on fire. But don't get too excited yet. Even if this theory is true, we may never get to see such an event with our own eyes. These events are not very common, so guessing when they will happen is like trying to guess the winning numbers in a lottery. A shot in the dark. And even if you have the patience of a saint, you'll need a top-notch telescope because these things happen in faraway places. We're talking about places that are very, very far from us, so when we see them, we are seeing what happened a long time ago, not what's happening now. 
It's like watching black and white films while the world is captivated by 8K HD. But here's the problem. These events are very fast. They don't last for a long time. Most of them are like a flash of light, then nothing. So you'd need reflexes like a ninja to catch one in the act. Maybe someday our telescopes will be able to take pictures of them. But for now, let's keep dreaming of seeing a star change its look by a plasma blade. Now, imagine one of these blades is heading towards our sun. What would happen? Well, it depends on where it hits the sun and how powerful it is. But let's assume it hits the sun right in the middle, and it has enough energy to cut through the whole sun. Because why not? Let's go big or go home. In that case, the blade would create a huge hole in the sun, exposing its core to the cold vacuum of space. The sun would lose a lot of mass and pressure, which would affect its nuclear fusion reactions. The sun would become unstable and start to oscillate violently, kind of like when you have a bad stomach ache after eating too much spicy food. The blade will also drag some of the sun's stuff with it, leaving a trail of plasma behind it. This plasma would mess with the magnetic field of the solar system and create shockwaves and chaos. This could change the orbits and weather of the planets, asteroids and comets. We might see some of them crash or go off course. The blade would leave a scar on the sun that wouldn't easily heal. The sun would attempt to regain its equilibrium by shrinking and expanding, but it would never quite be the same. It would lose some of its radiance and warmth, which would have repercussions for life on Earth and beyond. It's a bit like when you leave the salon with a less than ideal haircut. You might try to remedy it with a hat or a wig, but deep down you know it's not the same. And unfortunately, everyone can tell. So, as you can see, if a plasma blade hit the sun, it would be a very bad day for everyone in the solar system. It would be like getting stabbed by a cosmic knife that can cut through anything. It would be a disaster of epic proportions that we could not prevent or survive. But don't worry too much about this scenario. It's very unlikely that a relativistic blade will ever hit our sun. There are not many magnetars in our galaxy, and they're very far away from us. The chances of one of them aiming a blade at our sun are extremely low, so you can relax and enjoy the sun as it is now without fear of being sliced in half by a plasma blade. However, what if I told you that there might be another threat to our world as we know it? A solar storm that could wipe out all our technology and civilization. No Netflix, no phone, no electricity. Think about it, like the Ice Age, but in a different way. We made a video on this topic, and it might save your life in the future, or at least make it easier. Click here to watch it. But wait a second before you go, let me hit you with the classic line. Ready? Here it is. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your buddies, and hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. I know it's the usual YouTuber stuff, but it really helps our channel grow. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time with more awesome space videos.